Welcome to Inspire TV. I'm your host, Pastor Stephanie Velez, and I tell you, we're having a great time on stage before the show even starts. You guys are in for a treat. Um, I'm so excited um, to share and talk with this amazing couple that I've known for quite some time, and I'm just so excited for the world to see who they are and to hear them. But I do want to share what our mission is. You know, Inspire's uh, International Ministry, our mission is really to share God's love, provide hope to people who don't know Jesus Christ, and hopefully bring them to a place where they want to be reconciled to him. And so we're just so blessed and honored to have the privilege to do this show every single week that goes across the world. And I can tell you the testimonies that we've gotten back from people who see our show is just amazing. Um, I do want to ask you to do me a big favor. Go on Facebook and like Inspire International Ministries and also like the Cross TV show. Because when you like us, what that means is that you really want to hear all of the shows and the things that we're doing. So go ahead and like us. And then I do want to give a couple shout outs to some of our viewers. We have been so blessed to have people watching Inspire TV all across the world. And, and to me, it's just amazing just to see what God is doing and also to see that our shows are making a difference in people's lives. So I'm going to just talk. I'm going to say a couple of the cities that have come up. Los Angeles, we want to thank you for those that are watching from Los Angeles, from Silmar, California, from Garden Grove, Inglewood, Compton, uh, Santa Ana. And we even have viewers from Germany and Egypt that are actually watching our show. So we're just excited. Is that amazing that God would just have people all over the world watching Inspire TV. And so without further ado, I do want to uh, give my guests a proper introduction. And I want to say, you know, the guests that I'm about to introduce, they love music. And music just exudes out of them. Um, and I want to share that they are Christian rappers. They're independent Christian rappers from San Bernardino, California. And their passion is to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now, I think I'm saying it wrong. It's indie artists, okay? <laughs> but they are Christian indie artists, um, Deuce and Enigma. Um, they have a love for music, and Deuce has a really special testimony because when he was at the age of 17, he and two close friends started a group, and it was that time that they realized the potential that they had with their, um, with their music. And at that time, uh, their music started to take off in the secular arena, but as he describes, there was something empty inside. And, you know, that's how it usually is when you don't know the Lord. Um, and in 2008, his life drastically changed because he gave his life and his heart and his talent fully over to Jesus Christ. And ever since then, he and his wife have been touring and ministering all over the nation at schools and churches and prisons. And I, can't, I tell you, I look on Instagram and all I see is them doing videos. You guys are like video gurus. They are doing music videos constantly. And just, just the crowd of young people that they're touching their lives is amazing. But their mission really is to impact the world for Jesus and uplift the listeners and bring hope to all people. And so I would like to introduce to everyone here at Inspire TV, Samson. Can I say that? Or Deuce? No, I'll say Deuce. Deuce <laughs> and Enigma. Yeah. You Thank doing? you so much for coming. Thank you so much for having us. Thank I you feel so like an old groupie, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like those old people that just follow people around, okay? I, there's a youth side in me somewhere. Amen, amen. But we are so excited to have you on the show. Thank you for having us. Thank yes. You, you guys have just, I mean, we were talking before the show, and you guys, like, literally, like, came from a school that you were ministering at to here, right? Yeah. Wow. How awesome is that? Mm -hmm. Wow. Amazing. It is amazing. amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah. My what? old the high school that I went to where okay, I was. Okay, so now you know that. I first you did go... drugs, where we were what? shooting dice, where we were ditching school. Oh, my goodness. I was just got to go back, preach Jesus, and, you know, declare the word of God to the kids over there. And, you know, it was a blessing. Wow, that yeah. is so, like, I just got chills. That is so amazing. So it's like, you know, did you ever think that you would have, you would be able to go back to your old school? I never even thought I would be following Jesus in the first place. <laughs> my, my idea was when we were, I was doing music in the world and the key club and all these BB Kings, I thought I was going to be partying, drinking until I was about 60. And then 
give my life to Jesus. Right, right. You know, the rest it's of like my life that I have Right, left, right. It's like, know? well, I can barely walk, so okay, Lord, come on in. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but, you know, somebody, I praise God for each and every, that's why I love believers who proclaim the word of God with truth and are not scared. And even, whatever, however God tells you to speak the word to somebody, you speak it to them, you know. And somebody told me, like, hey, if you would die today, you, did you know where you would go? And I was a, you know, I was a believer who went to church casually because my mom would take me. But I knew in my heart, if I die, I was not going to be with the Lord. I'll be spending eternal destruction in hell. That's I knew that, and I didn't even know the word, wow. you know. But um, it, it's just been amazing, man. Just a, I, I wasn't a church goer. I didn't know about, right, you know, right. nothing about the church. So it's that just, is amazing. It's been, it's been you a know, it's amazing how the spirit of God it like totally like transfers yes, into a yeah. person. You don't have to know a piece of the Bible. You just know something's not right, you yeah, know. And sure. then here comes the Lord. Let me send the person just to share. That is amazing. And so we have your wife, Enigma. Oh. So this is super cool because we met like, oh, my gosh, years and years ago. Seven and it was just ago? you. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. <laughs> He's like, oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> it was just you rapping and just really ministering. And I'm telling you guys. You guys have to check out their videos. They are amazing. Go on YouTube and look up their name. I mean, y the crowds of people that actually follow this couple is amazing. And the most important thing is just the impact that you guys are having in the youth and young adult community is phenomenal. But back in the day, Deuce was by yourself. Yeah, and yeah. you were just kind of like on the sidelines. What were you doing? I mean, because, you know, we knew that you guys were married, but we didn't see you much. Well, you know, I just... To me, I was just happy I was saved, <laughs> and I was just excited to see the things that the Lord was doing through him, and I just was like, well, Lord, I'll just stay in the back, because I saw a lot of artists, and uh, not all of them, but there were a lot that I saw when they got on stage, it was really prideful, and mm. I didn't want to get like that, because I, I love rapping, I used to rap uh, before I got saved, ah. and so uh, I just, I didn't really want to get into it but he just kind of pulled me in and was like, no, you got to do it. So you guys rapped at your wedding, right? I'm sure. No. Oh, okay, no. okay. <laughs> you didn't. Rapping to each other. You know I love you. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, my gosh. I didn't know that about you. I, I just thought, I was like, oh, my gosh, his wife raps too. You know, like, I had no idea. That is so, okay. So, guys, when, when a girl raps, it's like, that's just supernatural. That's amazing, okay? So, <laughs> she, <laughs> she is awesome, okay? So, yeah, whoa, yes, I did not know that. Wow. Well, you know, you guys together is just amazing combination, and you guys are going to see in a minute what I'm talking about. But um, I want to get back to, you mentioned that, you know, when you were growing up, you were on drugs and different things like that. So, talk about that. Um, it was a result of what we see in many homes today, no father being there, okay. mom working two jobs to pay the bills, you know, so I didn't have a father influence. I didn't really have any, any influence, you know, so my influence was Lil Wayne, BET, MTV, and everything else I saw on TV. That's what, you know, my whole character, you know, because I watched them all day, you know, so I would listen to their music all day. And it's so crazy how real the word is. What does the word say? Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Yeah. You know, so the word, you take in the word, you start to take in the character. You'll start to walk out. You'll start to, you know, walk like Jesus did. But mm -hmm. the same way, whatever we give our ears to, whatever we give our eyes to, whatever we're Ooh, taking that's in, that's good. we get faith and we, we, we start to carry that out. That's why when these big superstars talk and glorify these lifestyles, the young ones go right along with it because that's all they're intaking, you know. So, wow. Um, I was just lost, and um, but it all stemmed down to just being broken because from just being broken, um, you know, f dad wasn't really there. He, it's crazy because it's not like he lived across the country. Right. He'd be like two cities away, you know, oh. but we just never spent time yeah. or nothing like that. And um, that just led to, you know, school, teachers, you know, looking down on me. And it just felt, it just felt like the world didn't understand, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? And um it was just brokenness. So that brokenness led to trying to fill it with um, with drinking, trying to fill it with smoking, trying to fill it with parties. Mm -hmm. And just, to, you know, you feel good for a moment. You do. It's that mm -hmm. sense pleasurable for a season. Right. You right. know, and but, they, you know, everybody leaves out the consequences of these right, things. You know, right, I used right. to get high, but I would get right back low. You know, I would drink and I would sober back up. And um, it was nothing that would fill it. Even when it came to women, it will be from woman to woman to woman. It didn't matter what they looked like. It didn't matter 
didn't matter. You know, it's just wow. You know, that's interesting. And you know, we don't really hear that a lot, especially from young people. You know, because you guys are young. You know, just talking about how um, sin is pleasurable for just a season, and what you just said. People don't tell you the after effects of sin it's like okay so you went to the club so you partied so you had a good time but then it's like when you're all by yourself now what you're left empty you're left feeling used you're, you're left feeling broken you know we, they glorify the parties and the drink and i've done that i've been to the parties got high and drunk end up getting jumped and almost got my life taken that night you know they don't tell you about you know that when a girl you go to your party and somebody slips something into your drink and then you end up getting raped they don't tell you that part mm. they don't tell you about you know oh you know not obeying your parents it's so crazy god's word is so it just doesn't it, if we would just listen to god mm -hmm. right <laughs> if we right. Would just listen to god exactly. you know we just exactly. obey our parents you know just Things like that, you know, we don't, we want to rebel against our parents and, you know, end up with a, a boyfriend. You get pregnant, then he leaves you. Mm -hmm. if you. If you would obey God in the first place, that wouldn't have happened. Yes. But we think God's trying to keep us from something. Mm -hmm. He just sees already what's down the road, right, you know. So. Right, right. Well, I could tell that Deuce and Enigma are getting hyped up. And I'm excited <laughs> because when we come back, we're going to hear one of their singles praying and flexing. Amen. We'll be right back. Amen. Your financial support helps Inspire International Ministries go into all the world to share the gospel and God's love. Visit our website at www.inspireim.org. And thank you for your gifts of love. Hey. Hey. Brian. Blackson. Hey. Blackson. Brian. Brian. Blackson. Blackson. Hey, look, praying, praying, flex, flex, praying, praying, flex, flex. We came for revival, hey! Bless, bless, you bless, cannot stop him, that ghost is inside him. Hey. Bless, bless, he died for our sins and he rose on the third. Flex on my life, now I'm free as a bird. Repent of your sins, he's in doubt, be alert. He's holy, he's righteous, he's awesome, superb. King of the heavens and king of the earth. Created the seeds and created the birds. He made us from dirt, they know not who I serve. We ain't scared of no threats, we ain't scared of no text. We ain't scared of no witch, we ain't scared of no hex. Lord is my shield, you can't touch me, I'm blessed. Seeing his face is the way that we flex. Preaching his word is the way that we flex. We flex in the spirit, don't flex in the flesh. The end of the world is coming and they stressing. But the saints, we fall on our face and we pray. Flex, flex, pray, pray, flex, flex, pray, pray, flex, flex. Jesus, he be my protection. Jesus, no room to be idle. Hey, flexing, killing the flesh, but we're not suicidal. Hey, flexing, ruling our strongholds and cause of denial. Hey, flexing, Jesus, He's coming, just go read your Bible. We in the last days, so we all gotta pray. Devils put fires out more than that shirt. Now they running and he ride like on the subway. Going back to the sin like they had a buffet. With the saints, man, we coming in all different colors. Begin with new tongues, but we from the same culture. Devils keep prowling, more foul than a vulture. But now we ain't scared, cause they're burning that sofa. Surrounded on our sides, but we are not stressed. In shadows of death, we will not become vexed. Casting out demons to free the oppressed. Bind up the strong man and plunder what's left. No wonder the devil will curse what is blessed. Submit to the Lord, but never the flesh. Whatever you want, Lord, you know that it's yes. The Lord is my place, so you know that we flex. Jesus, 
She be my protection. Hey. Jesus, he be my protection. Pray. Bless. And Jesus, he be my protection. Hey. Yeah, I pray. Pray. Bless. Bless. And Jesus, he be my protection. Hey. Pray. Pray. Bless. And Jesus, he be my protection. Jesus, he be my protection. Hey. Hello, this is Pastor Ray with Inspire International Ministries, and in January of 2018, we will be launching Inspire International Church. Our vision is seeking the lost and training believers to fulfill their purpose in God's kingdom. Through our TV program, Inspire TV, we have seen people come to the Lord. Now is the time to establish a house for God and rescue the people from being separated from Him. To introduce Inspire Church to the community, we have planned an interest gathering. This will be a time to hear the vision, experience the worship, and meet the leaders. If you've been looking for a place to belong and serve, this is the place. So come and join us for our interest gathering. God bless you, and we look forward to seeing you there. was amazing. If you just tuned in, my name is Pastor Stephanie and this is Inspire TV and we are here with Deuce and Enigma and they just performed their hit single, Praying and Flexing. And wow, guys, that was, look, you guys are moving around this whole stage. I was out of breath. I don't even know why. I just <laughs> sat here and did nothing <laughs> and I was just like out of breath. I am so, where can we get your music? Um, any online store, iTunes, um, Spotify, anywhere, just type in DU, the number two, CE. DU, number two, CE. That's mm -hmm. awesome. I want to know what was the thought behind the song that you just performed, which is the praying and flexing? <sighs> well, it, it was birthed um, out of fasting. And that's usually what we do when before we come into any music or, or albums, we try to fast and just really hear from God. Mm -hmm. And... Um, just due to the fact, man, we cut on TV, you go on the radio, anywhere you go, everybody is real vocal. They're flexing their beliefs. You right. can't turn on nothing without everybody being very vocal. Right. But when it comes to the word of God, they want to put a muzzle on our mouth. Ooh, come on. When it comes that. to the word of God, they want us to be quiet. And us and this yeah. is like, no, Jesus didn't call us to be quiet. Yeah, you yeah. Know, he called us to be bold, you know, to yeah. preach his word. You know, he does not give us a spirit of fear, you know. So it's just flexing. But then also... Being in the spirit, we're not yeah. flexing in the flesh. We're not here to, to, to we, our war is not a physical war. We yeah. wage war in the spirit, you know? So yes. it's really just trying to get the believer's back mind back on living in the spirit, you know? You guys are amazing because as you were performing, I'm going to tell you, um, the Lord just gave me a word of knowledge for you. And what it said was pure. And I just wanted to share, you know, you guys are pure. Um, there's a lot of people that do because I've been singing my whole life. And, you know, I believe that many are called and few are chosen. And, you know, everybody wants to sing. Everybody wants to rap. Everybody wants to perform. Everybody wants to be on stage. But there's very few people that I've actually personally seen that are pure. And as you were ministering, that's the word that the Lord had me to say to you, that you guys are pure. And you, you understand the significance of your role in this generation. And the amazing thing is that that's why, you know, a lot of times as uh, people from the outside, they may look at you and say, oh, man, how come they haven't blown up? Well, you know what? You are blowing up in the spirit and you're blowing up uh, principalities in the spirit realm, which is more important than blowing up where a man can say they got it going on. And that's one of the things that, that the, the enemy uses that as a tool. He would always bring people, man, how come you're not here yet? How come you're not here yet? You know, and then for a minute it would be like, man, well, why not? You know, but that's why it's so important. And I always push a personal time with Jesus. Yes. We need to go to church. We need to fellowship. We need a pastor, for, a word from the pastor. But we need the word we get from the pastor should be a confirmation of what Jesus gives us in our own yes. personal time. Yes. You know, so yes. um, Jesus told me he, he brought me to a point. It may not be his will. Well, if it's not his will for me to be on TV and tour the world. Right, right, right. The safest place for me to be is in his will. Ooh, come on. That's whether it. that be a janitor or yeah, whether yeah, that yeah. be touring the world, whatever it may Ooh. be, because in his will is perfect pr provision. Yes. His protection. His covering is there. His yes. blessing is there. Yes. See, so many people want something that may not even be where God wants them to be. Mm. They're not going to be. They're not going to have that peace there, you know? Yeah, so. yeah. 
Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. this is a, this is I okay. This is like my area, you know, because <laughs> because I've been seeing a long time, and I'm like, man, you know, everybody's going this way, but it seems like, Lord, why am I just over here by myself, you know? But I know that God is raising up a remnant of people that are not ashamed to proclaim the gospel and are not going to sell out to to look at like the world looks for a few pieces of silver. You know, we're not going to be the Judas, if I could just put it that way, yeah. when it comes to the kingdom, you know, because we're going to serve the Lord Jesus Christ. And I am like so super, I mean, I'm just like, they're like actually here on our stage. Praise hey. God. Praise God. But I do want to, I want to ask you, um, you know, what, um, I know that a uh, part of your ministry is really, really, um, you started out preaching um, and you were actually a youth pastor for a while. And I totally forgot about that until you started preaching. I was like, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one of the things I know that people struggle with when they are called to the music ministry or just marketplace ministry, you know, we, 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 we struggle with, am I supposed to just keep this in the church? Did you guys experience that, you know, what do we do with what God has given us? Of course. Because, and that's, that's, a, that's why... Our personal relationship and personal time with Jesus is so important because so many people, especially when you're talented, so many people are going to try to pull you over here, pull you over here, place you over here. And um, but from the very beginning, Jesus, he told me, like, this is for souls to be saved. Yeah. You, I don't, you're not going to compromise. He's what I seen in the Bible is what he wants me to do. Yeah. And I don't know where, pe you know, people feel that we can be more strategic than be than Jesus was in the, the <laughs> apostles. But it's just like he made it real. He, the blueprints there. Yeah. You know, it, it's there. You know, seek Jesus. You know, and that, right. You don't even need to to seek the you don't need to seek the stage. You don't need right. to seek the I didn't call my school to go there. The, the library lady. <laughs> she's like <laughs> 70 years old. Oh. She called. No, she she gave my number to the to the student. And I was like, how'd you even get my number? Oh, the librarian. I'm like, she's like seven years old. How she get my number? She's she was just like to Deuce and Enigma. Okay. But, but you know what? That's what happens though. When you when you just yeah. seek Jesus, He'll open the doors for you. You know, He'll put you where you need to be. You know, and it's just like it's not it's not worth it to to to, to compromise the message mm -hmm. of Jesus. There's no there, He's not going to have you do that. Right. You know, so right. it's just being having that relationship with Jesus, because that's where you're going to get the boldness from, you know, and, and just not compromising. It's, it's not worth it. What's, what is fame? He right. said, what is this whole world if it costs your soul? Ooh, come on. What's a, what's a, what is, okay, taking Jesus out of your music, and you go ahead and being, having the world's fame, you have mansions on every continent, you have the biggest bank account, but what's that if inside you, you know you've compromised? So I want you to take a few minutes, just like the next two minutes, and I want you to speak into the audience. And I want you to share with that person who is in music, who's kind of like on that point where they, they are empty, but they feel like, you know, I got to do this because this is, you know, this is going to make me money. What would you say to that artist, that young person, or, or even that adult? And I just encourage every person, um, minister, pastor um because it, it, it all it affects in every area but the the main thing is always the main thing ministry flows from your relationship with jesus mm -hmm. you don't have to go look for it you don't that's where ministry stems from is because of overflow of your time with jesus you know and so many times you know we we, we travel a lot and i i i i ask i talk to a lot of pastors i don't do it in front of the congregation i ask them like hey, what do you do? If I was a basketball player and I was around Jordan, I would ask him, what is your work ethic? Like, how are you doing this? How are you jumping and just dump? What do you do? You know, so I would talk to pastors and, man, you, with you having kids in the family, what, what's your prayer life like? How do you spend time to fast? And wh what's some tips you can give me? And 90, 95% of the time, the pastor would always tell me, like, man, I'm, I'm actually struggling in those areas. You know, like, I can't, I'm not fasting like I, I should be or and, and the reason why I say that is because that if you do not have your relationship with Jesus, don't worry about the rest. It's going to be in the flesh anyways. Mm. Jesus says it is not by strength. It is not by might. It is by my spirit, saith the Lord. It doesn't matter how good you sing. It doesn't matter how good you preach. And I, I know it may sound hard, but it, more lives could be impacted by somebody who can barely hit a note, but they've been on their face in front of Jesus. Ooh. Than somebody who can have all, 
Lucifer, he was the head musician. And look what happened to him. So my encouragement for everybody, every musician, every believer, every pastor, f- lose yourself and find yourself in Jesus. It says that our life is hidden in Christ. Find your life in Jesus. You know, d- don't, 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 put, don't worry about the music. You know, I, 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 yes, I like to rap. It's only a tool. You know, and it's just a tool that the gospel may go forth, that things like this can happen just so we can speak into somebody's life. The music is not going to bring you joy. You know, even with ministry, you know, so many, it's just like the story with Martha and Mary, you know, be at the Lord's feet. You know, don't be distracted with ministry. You can be distracted with ministry. How are you going to pour out Jesus on other people when you're not even full of what Jesus of yourself? So the main thing that you want to overflow in life, you know, you want to overflow in your ministry. You want your songs to, to change lives, not just somebody nod their head to it. Seek Jesus, man. I encourage you, read your Bibles. It says in the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. So how can we say we love God if we know nothing about his word? Read the Bible. Get to know God. Spend time in prayer. And I would, if you're really trying to see God move and do something and in, in move in ways you can't even imagine, fast. I, I promise Amen. you, <laughs> if you fast, you will see God do crazy things. We've seen people healed and all, all type of things, man. Amen. But it's just a relationship, man. Yeah. Seek Jesus more than yeah. anything, and it will overflow into every area. Yes. Wow. That is. Wow. So you've heard it. The call has gone, you know, to really just seek God. And so if that's you right now, you're like, man, I I just really want to know where to start. And I usually tell people, you know, just start, put some music on, put some worship music on your favorite song and just just get quiet before the Lord and just say, you know what, God, I just need to hear your voice. I just want more of you. Just begin to to just thank him for where he has brought you from and and thank him for where you want him to take you. And then just say, you know, God, forgive me. You know, it's just really simple. If we just say, Lord, forgive me. I've missed the mark. I haven't spent time with you, but I desire that. Do you know that God honors that? And he will start to, the Bible says that when we draw close to God, he draws close to us. But you may be saying, you know, I just really need to repent. And if that's you right now, I want you to repeat this prayer after me. And I want you to say, Lord Jesus, forgive me of my sins. I'm sorry. I'm a sinner. But I know that you can save me from all of my sins. Heal me in every area of my life. In Jesus' name. And I thank you for loving me. In Jesus' name. Amen. And you know what? The Bible says that if you pray that prayer, you're saved. If you pray that prayer, the Bible even says that there is a cloud of witness. Angels are rejoicing because you have just said, I'm sorry, and I repent. And we want to hear about it. Go to our website at inspireim.org and tell us all about it. We want to help support you spiritually and connect you with some people that are going to help you in your ministry of growth. So before we leave, I do want to ask you one more question. I want to find out what's, what's next. We have like about one, 30 seconds to tell us what's next for Deuce and Enigma. Um, Enigma, her, she's working on her project right now, so that's going to be coming out soon. And then just another tour, um, just going on another tour. Oh, my gosh. You guys are awesome. So listen, you guys can get his information um, on his website or his email is there. And go to Facebook. You'll see his information posted there. And Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming to our show. I am so excited, and I know that God has great things in store for you guys. Thank you so much. Your financial support helps Inspire International Ministries go into all the world to share the gospel and God's love. Visit our website at www.inspireim.org. And thank you for your gifts of love.